What is going on, everybody? It's Treb from Treb Talks here. And we are officially in week number seven of our NFL picks, upsets, and locks. And we are dwindling down on teams that we can lock each week and we can pick for an upset. So this is the time where some people like your boy need to start picking some games and try to get back in the lead. Speaking of people that are in the lead, we got one guy that was ahead by a lot of points last week, and he hopes to improve on that. Cam, how you doing? You know, Cam is uh, doing pretty good as I'm speaking in the third person. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Still don't have my fucking car, but we'll I, see. How's the progress on that going? Uh, you know, COVID's kind of fucking me in the ass, but that's about it. COVID's fucking everybody in the ass, but you got a, you got a slick haircut this week. Yeah. You got the got the braids back in it. Yeah, I got my braids in. Just imagine the douchiest haircut you can imagine, and that's exactly what Cameron has. Cameron's literally wearing a do-rag right now. Yeah. I was playing video <laughs> games. I didn't want to mess up my curls. That's understandable. Fuck like, you. Very understandable. Before, it is understandable. Before the podcast started, we said, me and Fitz said Cam looks like a uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 generated character. Yep, which, definitely. Which is pretty on point. Speaking of Fitz, he's in the building. Larry, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing absolutely wonderful. You know, Cardinals dominated, so can't be any happy. You know, looked great. I happy mean, about it. So, I was shell-shocked. I didn't even watch a second of that game, and I just looked at the score, and I was like, damn. We got Zeke's head rifle. first, man. Zeke, that was how it started. We got Zeke's head, fumbled once, then he was already in his own head. Then Jordan Phillips hit him hard, and he couldn't hold on to the ball. Mm. And that's fumble number two, and quick, quick 14-point lead, and that's all it took. See, this is why I think people are silly that, say, Dak Prescott isn't good, or that Dak Prescott isn't like a franchise quarterback because clearly couldn't get it done with the Red Rifle. And, I mean, not a lot of teams can get it done with the Red Rifle, but... Dude, the Red Rifle sucks. Mm-hmm. He's been worst. saying that for years. He's years. your Sam Darnold. Yeah, he's the worst. He might be the worst in the league right now as starting quarterbacks. And, uh, Colch, we're glad to have you back. A lot of people were uh, <sighs> concerned you're on the COVID illness list. Yeah. The, the first person in the... Picks to be added to that place. <laughs> oh no! How are you feeling? I'm feeling healthy, and I'm I'm ready to just go out there and uh, play play my hardest, pick my hardest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, we're we're glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back, Phil. <laughs> Steelers five and zero. Oh. It's too easy. <laughs> uh, you know, it it's good. We're we we've been playing really good. We haven't started out. Well, before this week, we we hadn't started out four and zero since the seventies. Which you would think that's kind of crazy. Yeah, you know, last year we started one and four. I mean, we're we're looking good. We're on pace to have uh, the most sacks, you know, for any team in NFL history in a season, if we keep on playing the way we do. You guys are going up against another favorite team of yours. The yeah, five and Tennessee Titans. I know, week. man. It's hard. I'm, I'm very excited when we get to that game to see uh, what your what your analysis is going to be on that one. Yeah, I already, I already know you're torn. Because, <laughs> it because, hurts, because man. Because we technically already picked that game. Like, yeah, technically. Weeks ago. Yeah, yep. we did. But you know, things have changed, and yep. one thing that Not hasn't. For me. <laughs> one, thing, one thing that hasn't changed in that matchup though is they're both undefeated teams. That's true. Mm-hmm. And the Titans looked really, really fucking. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I gotta say, the Texans, like we said, Romeo Cornell came out and he fought. If they got that two-point conversion, that's a completely different game. Yeah. They missed it, and then DH with the 95-yard touchdown, what can you do? He had, like, what, over 200 yards rushing? Mm-hmm. Had 180 or 60 yards after contact. That's, like, that's never been done before. <laughs> It's like, you know, Jameson, you know, when he says DH in the chat, you know, maybe he's kind of speaking some truth a little bit. He is, and you <laughs> always say he sucks, or you you don't think DH is that good when, I've when, never, you, talk, I've, when I've, you talk in the chat. I've always been a proponent of DH. I'm just not a proponent of the Tennessee Titans. He rumbles in December, but right now it seems like he's rumbling for the whole year. This is I the first he's, time he's put it a whole season together. He mm-hmm. might He might break the rushing record. 
Is that a? I think, are we starting I think, I'm it off? putting on a bold take. I think if he can put, it, I think he, he's their whole offense. They're going to give him 30 touches a game. I think he could break the rushing title. Watch him get hurt. If oh. he gets hurt, who then holds, he can't. Who but, holds that? T- is it CJ two? two uh, no, I think, I think it's still. No, what? I'm saying I'm saying oh. for a single for season. season. Oh, for a season. I think he's going to break Eric Dickerson's rushing title. Oh, is it Eric Dickerson? Yeah, I, thought I, thought it was I thought it was CJ also. But a- CJ I think AP was the closest to it, and nobody break it, broke it yet. Mm-hmm. He was, AP was the yeah. closest. With and CJ yards. got the 2K. Yeah. yeah, he just got into the 2K yeah. club. Yeah. But I do think he's going to break it this year. He's that whole. He's their whole offense. People have been kind of getting hurt for them recently. John o. Smith was their red zone threat. They're going to start heavily relying on him even more. Yep, and, you know, he's he became a star, you know, kind of against Jacksonville. Jacksonville likes to make stars every single game. But this is the now best part of the week, the points reveal. We're going to see who is on the come up and who is on the come down. Just to recap the scores from last week, Cameron sat in first place with 58 points. Fitz in a close second with 48, Colt with 45, and Treb with 43. So the race for second place was pretty close, and um, 36 total star frames, too, for everybody keeping track at home. So I did not have a great week. Oof. That, unfortunately, did not happen. I picked the Jags. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Me either. I thought I thought something wild was gonna happen there, and then just some of those fifty-fifty games. I mean, I picked those wrong. It was a bad week, but it was far from my worst week. It wasn't five points; it was seven points. So that is gonna bring your boy up to fifty points on the season. So Cold, you're in third place last week. I was. Uh, so. With getting my lock right, but my upset wrong, I had my worst week. Oh, really? Yeah, I had six points. But that brings my total to 51. Oh, so it's a one-point race between (laughs) me and Colge. Wow. Who's the worst team in the picks? It's a battle down at the bottom. Fitz, what do you got? Well... You know, we like to keep up in them Fitz numbers, you know, oh, but, wow. but we don't, we didn't get there. Oh, <laughs> no, guys, that's just guys, the bar. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's, just, that, that's what I'm saying. That's my bar. I'd love to get be a Fitz number every week. If I get 11 every yeah. week, you would win. Yeah, I feel great about it. You know what I'm saying? You're either trying to get but, Breeze or Fitz. But <laughs> since we just keep sucking it up and we can't get into the double digits, uh, we got seven points. <laughs> yeah, I got. Wow. I uh, I locked the Dolphins. They got her done. The the Cowboys and everything else is just, you know, it's just brutal. Yeah, it's you everything. picked the boys to beat the Cardinals, didn't you? Yeah. Well, you know, it's trying to double awesome. up on the good feelings. I picked the Cardinals. I believe in the Cardinals. Yeah. Man, I always have mixed reviews. I always say, you know, I'm not going to pick the Cardinals, but I had to. And yeah. man. Maybe I should just keep picking them to win. Who knows? So what does that bring your total to? Uh, 55 points for the season. 55. So 50, 50, 51, and 55. So just a... Just the race for second place at this point. Just the race for second place. No one even matched Cameron's totals in the following week. So Cam, what do you got? You know, I'd like to say <laughs> it wasn't the double digits this week. It was not. But it, it was a tough wasn't. week this week. Yeah, mm-hmm. honestly, it was a tough week for me. I got my lock right, but I had my upset wrong. I was pretty, I was, I was real close. I thought the Texans were going to pull that upset. The Patriots one was a hard one. The Patriots one was a hard one for me. The Steelers, I got that was my lock, so I was happy about that. But it came in with nine points. It's a total of 67. 
67. That's still going to... I hope you score two points next week so you're at 69. Yes, nice. that was... <laughs> you, you, should, you should almost butcher these picks. <laughs> yeah, like no, I, was really, I was honestly thinking if I would have gotten my upset right, or if I would have chosen the Titans, mm. then boom, I would have gotten the 69. <laughs> but... It was right. It was right at your fingertips. You almost had a yeah, real collective cool. comment sections of notes. <laughs> <laughs> it was close, but no cigar. Hashtag Cam gets sixty nine. <laughs> that, that that's gonna. I want that in the comment section. But now it's a new week, and right now it's kind of the race for second place. So I'm keeping my eyes on Cam. I mean on Colge and on Fitz. For these picks, and we're back with a Thursday night game. Uh, Coles, before we get into this, there is a question I gotta ask you because we asked it on the last podcast. Would you prefer to have one Thursday night game, like regular, or would you rather have the two Monday night games? Either the format that they've been having, or having like one at like five and then one at eight o'clock. I mean,. It doesn't really matter to me because I can't really watch those games anyways. Yeah. So, I mean, if there was two Monday games, then I could watch, you know, some of a Monday game. Yeah. You know, that'd be nice for my schedule. So, I mean, I guess I would choose that. I personally would dabble in a two Monday night system. I honestly don't like the Thursday night games. And I think I don't think the players like it either. I like it for, like, a Thanksgiving. Yeah. I mean, you have to do that. Yeah, that's that's just tradition. You don't fucks with tradition. Mm-hmm. I think I think especially for this season with COVID, like they shouldn't have short weeks. Like yeah. Thursday is kind of tough on a team to come around on a regular season, not when you got other stuff to throw in the loop. They should just go Sunday and Mondays. I think that's just better. I would agree with that. But this Thursday we do have a game, and it's going to be an NFC East battle between the Philadelphia Eagles. And the New York Giants. The Giants were able to get their first victory, and the Eagles look like they're finding their footing. But they're going to be without Miles Sanders this week. Fitz, who you got? I'm taking the Eagles. I don't care who's injured. I really don't. (laughs) I mean, they could throw it to whoever. I just think the Giants are shelled out. Daniel Jones won't keep up. The run game's not that good. I think the Eagles, uh, Sanders had... Nine carries for 118 yards. So just off of that, clearly the offensive line was blocking well. Whoever running is going to run all over the Giants on th- Thursday night. I think it's going to be an easy one. All right, Cam, what do you got? You know, I don't see what it is as I'm writing my my picks on my phone. Really, I was really debating whether I wanted to lock the Eagles or not, or just to choose the Eagles. Mm-hmm. And it's real, con- it's real, cho- real choice for me because I- when in the league am I going to be able to say the Eagles are for sure going to win with their terrible record? Like, what other team? Point. What yeah. other team could they be that could, that I could potentially say this is a lock? And that'd be the I could only be the Jets. And do they even play the Jets this year? No, I don't know. Uh, they don't. So it's like, well, <laughs> fuck. So I'm gonna have to use this as my lock for the, this week. This week. So the Eagles on the lock for Cameron using it on Thursday night. Cole Judy got. I got the Eagles, man. They put up a really good fight against this Pittsburgh, man. They like their one guy had over a hundred yards. Miles Sanders had over a hundred yards, and we have like one of the best rushing defenses, or you know, one of the best defenses in general. And they made the comeback against the Ravens did. too. Yeah. I mean, it was thirty to twenty-eight the final score. I mean, that's unbelievable in itself yeah i mean eagles are definitely a top tier team of the lower tier teams of the that, nfc if that east. makes sense yeah, a very very beautiful way to do that. <laughs> so I, i'm gonna to choose philly i i like the way the eagles are playing as well so i'm also gonna pick the eagles for the first star frame five dollars charity of your choice and another constant of this channel this is now the fifth of seven Thursday night games that we have picked a star frame. Fifth opening game. Oh. Some have worked and some have not. Like the Bucks. Or the Jags. Yeah. <laughs> against the Dolphins. Mm-hmm. That was a that was a star frame that week. Alright, coming up next we got another division matchup, this time in the NFC South. We got 
the crew's favorite quarterback, or at least one of them, Teddy Bongwater, going up against another crew favorite, Drew Breezes. Colch, you like both these quarterbacks. What do you got? Well, like you said at the beginning of the video, if you're not going for Fitz, you got to go for Breeze. So <laughs> I'm going to go with Breezes and the Saints to beat Teddy Bongwater and the Panthers. I mean, if you ain't if you ain't aiming for a Fitz level number, you got to be aiming for Drew Brees. Cam, who do you got? You know, at the same time, you're you're right. Yeah. At the same time, you're honestly right. So I'm gonna have to go with that, Teddy Bongs. Teddy, oh, you're going with the Panthers? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I honestly wasn't really paying attention to the picks. Right, we're going with the Saints, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Drew Brees. The Breezes, man. Breezes. Breezes. You're going to go with Teddy Bog and the pa- I mean, he was, on, he was on the Saints last year. I'm sorry. I wasn't really paying attention. I was, I mean, reading, was, I was, I was reading, half right. You, know when, I'm re- you know when I'm reading my phone and I'm deep in my mm. phone like that, you can't pick me like that. I got to say, hey, Cameron, you got to get my attention first. I'm like, what? <laughs> some, say some bullshit like that. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a quick pan. It's not, it's, not a, it's, <laughs> not, it's not a right away deal. All right. Uh, Fitz, what do you got? I'm taking the Saints. Michael Thomas is back. Uh, their offense is looking good. I like the Panthers. They, they put up a fight against the Bears, but it's just not. They're not going to do it. I think they're going to be fighting for a playoff spot later this season, but they're still kind of struggling without McCaffrey offensively. I'm going with the Saints. And I'm also going to take the Saints for another star frame. $5 charity of your choice. And we open up the podcast with two star frames back to back and in this list i mean in this week of <clears throat> nfl matchups we got a lot of divisional games and this one is another one we got the buffalo bills against the new york jets and the bills didn't look like themselves in their last game against kansas city fits who you got i'm taking the bills it's a bounce back game obviously the jets, <laughs> the jets are yeah. shell yeah. uh gore's gonna have Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, the, the streak is over. That is the hottest take you've ever taken. Yeah, just dude, that is... Gore's, <laughs> Gore's going to have four yards for carry, but obviously all Eight these yards. all these, all these <laughs> backs rushes. keep stealing his carries. They're not going to keep being successful if they keep hawking Gore's carries like that. <laughs> Their offense is going to stall out with Gore, the bell cow, out of, out of the field. You know, If he's sitting on the, on the sidelines more than he's playing the game, they're not going to be in this one. Yeah, I'm taking the Bills. They're going to win 49-3. to We're going to see some Tree Barkley in there, Ooh, I think. Because the UFC jo- legend. Yeah, because I think Josh Allen's just going to eat him alive. I do. Man, I'm a little excited now. Dude, if I get to see Matt Barkley, I will cream my jeans. And that's why I'm also going to be taking the Bills. <laughs> and in hopes to see Matt Barkley, not only am I going to take the Bills, I'm going to lock the Buffalo Bills over the New York Jets. Cole Judy up. Me and you are just on the same page today. I'm choosing the Bills as my lock because the Jets suck. The Jets are bad. Doesn't matter who's playing quarterback for them. Cam, why don't you close this out? Man, I'm just going to call it all right now. Star, Star frame. Star frame. $5 charity of your choice. Any, any reasoning behind that or are you going to just go off of everything? The Jets are for sure getting number one overall pick. Ooh. You know, I would really hope that the Jaguars make a run for it, and hopefully the Jets start winning. I don't know who it's going to be against, but we're going to need the Jets to get a win. Coming up next, we got another back-to-back-to-back division matchups. Mm. And we got the Cincinnati Bengals going up against the Cleveland Browns. And I think this one's going to be a little bit better than their opening matchup against the Bengals. I think Joe Burrow's a little more seasoned. He's seen a little more things, and there's a little bit of QB controversy in Cleveland now. Mm-hmm. You take that one bad game from Baker, and Kevin Stefanski's really considering playing Case Keenum. You know, whether that's the best thing for the franchise or not, there's still going to be a little bit of a dilemma there, and that's why my upset of the week is going to be the Cincinnati Bengals beating the Cleveland Browns and Barnage is going to be very upset. And by the time I go over to Larry's to watch the game... He will have left the crew chat. He will have left the crew <laughs> chat and left the building. Larry, who do you got? I hate to say this, but I have to agree this week. I think it's time. I think I think Burrow's going to get the first division win. 
here. I the Browns are beat up. Uh, Baker had a rib injury before the game. Um, Jarvis's hip's still a problem. Odell's got another injury. They're beat up offensively. I think it's going to be a shootout still. But I think Burrow gets it. He's really hooking up with T. Higgins recently. Mixon's still looking good. Since the Jags game, he started to kind of rumble off that and start pulling the season back together. I'm going with the Bengals. Colt, what about you? I chose the Bengals too. Not even as my upset, but, you know, just I think they're going to get it done because I think the Browns are hurting too bad, RN. Wow, and just like that. And I don't know if I mentioned, but I, that was my upset of the week as well. It was? Yeah. And just like that, the Browns falling from grace. Cam, what do you got? Star Frame! Five dollars charity. Your choice! And he is going to take the Bengals too. Cam, you're a, you're a big Joe Burrow guy. Yeah. Not doing too bad this year, not going to lie. I would say Joe Burrow and Dwayne Haskins are the two guys that you were the quickest to go to bat for, other mm-hmm. than Cam Newton and Tom Brady, obviously. I do not think we have ever opened up a video with three straight star frames. That's have, four. That's four. Or four straight four. star frames. Four. Oh, yeah. Four straight star frames. I don't think that's ever, ever been done. So you are now witnessing history in the NFL picks. Is the history going to continue? Coming up next, we've got another division rival game. It's because of all these division rival games, man, I'm telling you. We got the NFC East battle between the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington football team. Larry, what do you got? I'm taking the Cowboys. I think they bounced back. I think Ziggy got in his own head with the fumble. He fumbled again. That's what destroyed their whole offense. It made Andy Dalton pass 50 sometimes. Uh, I don't think they're going to have to do that against the Redskins. I think they'll bounce back. It's going to be a close one. The like, football team. Yep. Not oh, the yeah, Redskins. The football, well, you know. Come now we've got to censor that. I know. Every, well, on. I think I've done that like three or four times this season. <laughs> so that's a guarantee. Um, but the Cowboys' offense, uh, I think they're going to get it done. CeeDee Lamb's going to have 150 yards and two touchdowns. They're going to win 24-17. Still a close battle. Cold Trudy got. I do not like the Red Rocket at all. Huh. And when he plays, he loses. Damn. So I'm hands. choosing the Washington football team. So just like that, this is going to end the star frame streak. Cam, who do you got? Colton is right. Every time the Red Rocket plays, he usually loses. Whether who is surrounded, who he is surrounded by. Hey, look, he had AJ Green, the top one of the top five deep threats receivers he could have, and look how far he took them. Nowhere. So I mean, like, I'm gonna have to go with the upset with the Washington team right here. And that's your upset of the week, or just yep, that's my right. upset of the week. All right, the. Washington football team locked in as this upset of the week. I'm going to take the Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott rushes for 160 yards. Two touchdowns. How many receiving yards? 42. Ooh, I like it. $200 purpose. What a day. That and, is a day. <laughs> and, and the Cowboys defense scores twice. Wow. Leighton Van Der Esch for the... Homegrown? For, for, for Riggins? Homegrown? For Riggins? <laughs> yeah. For the down man. south? Yeah. Nah, not from down south. Nah. We're going to go Jalen Smith for the fantasy right. points. <laughs> we're going to go Jalen Smith. Two pick sixes. Actually, one pick six, one fumble recovery. To the house. To the his house? To the his house. All right, coming up next, we have a game that is not a division matchup. Breaking that streak as well. We got the Green Bay Packers and the Houston Texans. Larry, who do you got in this one? I like what the Texans did. Romeo Cornell came out. He put up a fight. He went for the two-point conversion. If they get that, they might have won the game and turned the tide of the whole season. Rodgers had a rough game against Tampa Bay. I kind of proved it right. He got pressured. He started to look, his feet started to look not how Rodgers is. Mm -hmm. He threw a pick six and then more picks and more, and then the game got out of hand. And they benched him. Yeah, I think... It wasn't even Jordan Love that play. That's no, what shocked me. Boyle. Yeah. Some Tim Boyle. But uh, I think the Packers bounce back. I think Devontae Adams will have 125 yards. 
I'm looking at Aaron Jones for about 200 yards all purpose. Jamal Williams is completely phased out of the offense. It's just going to be all Aaron Jones. Packers win by a lot. All right, Cam, what do you got? I'm going to have to support that decision right there, Cod, and I'm going to have to go with the Packers. I do it's like... Just, it's just plain and simple. The Texans just don't have the defense to slow down the Packers. They don't have the pass rush to get there besides Watt. I really want, even though, you know, the AFC South, the Jags are taken. It doesn't really matter at this point. I really want to pick Houston here because I like Deshaun Watson. I think this is going to be a good matchup for Deshaun's future. I mean, you get to see. I think this is the first time Aaron Rodgers and Deshaun Watson have ever played. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but this should be a fun game to watch. I'm still going to take Green Bay, but uh, hopefully Deshaun Watson and the offense kind of put on a show. Brandon Cooks is coming along, finally. Had him on my fantasy bench for a long time. He's finally coming along. And uh, Cole, why don't you close out? I'm choosing the Texans for the upset. Oh, dude, see, I can see it, though. I can see it, but that's the only one that was, like, a large margin for my upsets that I haven't chosen yet. And so. There's something that's going around, too, that I've heard. Rogers' touchdown celebration when he scored, he did a triple pump. In, what? In, yeah, it was like <laughs> he it, did the freaking. It was like what a a B did. did, yeah. But it's off of from some movie or whatever. But he threw two picks. <laughs> he didn't throw the third yet, so I think he's gonna get one out. He's early. gonna throw one more. Yep, it's gonna be Ooh. early, so that could maybe the phase, phase the tied towards the Texans. Who knows? That one pump is going to just... Yeah. One pump chump. Yeah. He's There's out. No way Aaron Rodgers is a one pump chump. <laughs> you think he's a stud? <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. You see the way his handlebar grows, dude? There ain't no way. That's true. There ain't no, no way, way that man's not a stud. Coming up next, we got a... No, no, this one is also not a division matchup. That's kind of just been my segue to all these games. But it is an NFC battle, and it's a game that I find really difficult to pick. So I'm going to kind of survey the room a little bit, have you guys pick before me, so I could kind of settle in, hear your arguments, and decide what I want to pick. It's the Falcons and the Lions. Larry, why don't you go first? Mm. I'm going with the Falcons. I said there was going to be two 0-16 teams. I bit the bullet. I said it was going to be Falcons and the Jets. Well, I bit the bullet bad. How about 40 points from the Falcons? <laughs> um, He's icy. Uh, yeah, so it's I don't clean. know. It's just a bad week, you know, for me on that call. But uh, I'm taking the Falcons. I think the Lions were, are going to blow a lead. I like what DeAndre Swift's doing. I think he'll elevate himself in this game. But I'm taking the Falcons by two touchdowns. Two touchdowns, I like it. I think I think it's gonna be an offensive game for sure, though. Cam, who do you got? You know, I'd have to agree with Bryce on that. I mean, the Falcons just came off with a big win, their first win of the week season. So I mean, like they're probably pretty proud. Right, they're pretty proud right now, and they're coming out. They're playing a team that's two and three. They're not too good, but they're not too great. You know, they're not too bad. So I mean, they're like they're in the between. Uh, just a little bit better than the, Falcon, the Falcons. And I feel like if the Falcons beat them this week, it's going to just try the Falcons and just go on a good winning streak of four or five games, I feel like. And so I'm just going to have to go with the Falcons on this one. Mighty Ice is going to drop another 40. I think uh, Matt Ryan and the Falcons just early in the season were really underperforming. I think, you know, the tools were always there, especially on the offensive side of the ball. They do have pieces on the defense as well. So I'm going to have to second what you guys already said. I'm going to take Atlanta as well to beat Detroit, but I love to see Matt Stafford succeed. So hopefully Detroit puts on a show. Cold, why don't you close this out? Man, I got to go with Detroit. I just I can't trust the Falcons. I, I, it's I just hard. Can't, I take them a lot. Ever since, ever since the Super Bowl, man, they've just been, they've been different. Yeah. Not the good kind of different. I think their offense hits different when Julio's in. Julio's kind of hurt the past few weeks. Mm -hmm. Came back this last week, seven catches, 106 yards, two touchdowns. Calvin Ridley starts having 149 yards. And I do love like Calvin catches. Ridley, though. I think I it too. opens up when Julio gets there because Calvin, Calvin Ridley kind of slowed down a little bit because Julio was hurt. 
Now he's back. Now things are opening up. Hayden Hurst had a touchdown. The Lions defense isn't going to be able to stop them. But Stafford is going to get in a shootout because that's how Stafford does. So I could see it going either way. You know, Colt is you're poised for a, a big week possibly. Or really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, li I like the, uh, the angles in which you are coming in at this week. I think this is, this is in it to win it types of picks here. I like week weird. seven, baby. <laughs> this is, this is it's this is, only one time a year. This yep. is, week seven, man. That's right. This is do or die. You gotta go balls to the walls. All right, now we got a game that I would say, if I had to pick a game of the week, it would it would be this one. A game that was already supposed to be played. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers, Tennessee Titans, two undefeated teams. And it hurts my heart to say this as a Jags fan, but god damn, I'd be damned if I would say these Titans and these Steelers, who we have history with both, aren't fun to fucking watch. Fitz, who do you got in this one? I'm taking the Steelers. I think that defense is elite. I, Henry elite. Henry is going to get brick walled. Right after, I, you know, I think, he'll, I think he's going to rush off like he does in December. And I think that's going to get him the rushing title. But I think this is the game where the Steelers say, yeah, try to beat me, Tannehill. And I don't <laughs> think that's going to happen. Uh, Mink is playing hot. This defense oh. is playing hot. Uh, Big Ben, he's dropping dimes. He I've watched some games that, I mean, like, if people were worried about the elbow, don't be. Because holy moly, he dropped in a dime to Claypool in like mm -hmm. I think two weeks ago. Maple that Tron. was just Mapletron, exactly. <laughs> that was just in the bucket. Uh, I think he's gonna light him up. I think the Steelers are gonna do a big win, dominant win, go to six and zero, and they're gonna keep going. I'm I'm very intrigued, very intrigued. One thing I will say though, like I said in last week's picks. It's about time we stop pretending and, you know, hyping up Ryan Tannehill just because Ryan Tannehill is, you know, a fan favorite. Ryan Tannehill right now is a top 10 quarterback in the league. Easy. Oh, yeah. He, Easy. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, Ryan Tannehill. Dude, who, who would have thought back in 2014? And it doesn't even really matter. <laughs> when Doug, Bud Dupree almost ended his career. Yeah. yeah. Or right now it was, it was Matt Moore, excuse me. Dude, this could be Ryan Tannehill's redemption game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Against Pittsburgh. Cam, who do you, who do you got? You know, this this game was really tough for me to choose. I really wanted to choose the Steelers, but I really want to choose the Titans. Um, on my phone, I have the Titans, but as you all choose the Steelers, makes me want to choose them. But yet again, that is why I am in first place, and you guys aren't. So I'm going <laughs> to have to go with the Titans on this one. Taking the Titans. That's it, yeah. Oh, you picked, sorry, cold, cold, sorry, cold. Um, I'm going to go Pittsburgh. Um, we're looking pretty good. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not going to say DH ain't going to do shit. He's top running back in the league, you know. He's probably going to rush for no more than 70 yards. That's, that's what I think. That's, to me, that's a brick wall. That, that's, it, for DH, that's, like like that's probably yeah. like 20, that's probably 20, 30 he's, carries. Yeah, he's going to get like mm -hmm. 25, oh, 30 yeah. carries, and it's going to be like three yards per carry. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, you got brick wall. You know, they might game plan to not do that, though, because of how good our defense is against the run. But I think Joe Hayden gets a pick six, Ooh. and I'm picking the Steelers just by a... By a hair, man. I think it's gonna be a three-point game, but like good, like thirty-three to thirty. I'm gonna take Pittsburgh as well. This is, I'm, you know, I was talking to I was talking to Fitz earlier, and I was like, dang, the Jags play at one this week, so I can sleep in. But fuck, I might get up just to watch this game. This game's gonna be fun. To watch. My two favorite teams in the NFL right now. And I mean, guess what? We just hit A. No, 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 no. He picked the Titans. Did he take the Titans? Yeah, he took the Titans. <laughs> no way he took the Titans. Yeah, I told you. you. This guy. You. I said you guys are all guy. I said, <laughs> I said you guys are all going to choose the Steelers, this and I, that's why I'm number one. This guy. 
Did you see Price stop mid storm? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, st- <laughs> he's like, okay. I'll, Did I'll, he take the time? Yeah, because that's awful. All right. <laughs> that's awful. Ruined the five dollar donation. Yeah. All right, we're going I back. I think Bryce should do his own five dollar donation on that one. Yeah, on the, on the okay. messed up stuff, first messed up star friend. No, I didn't say it. That's true. So you, you guys know. are saying you messed it all up by talking about it. <laughs> Should have kept it going. Okay, I'll I'll donate five dollars <laughs> to charity <laughs> of your choice. So we're back on to the uh, division games, and this one is the first of the afternoon games. We got the Seahawks. We got the Cardinals. Larry, you know better than any of us. Take it away. We're losing. Fair. To the Seahawks. They're, they're undefeated. Uh, Kyler Murray went through nine completions for 24 attempts offensively. Our defense is not going to get four turnovers, turnovers off of Russ. Uh, I think we'll probably play a little bit better offensively. I think it'll be close. It's going to be a barn burner. But Seattle always beats us in Arizona. They're going to continue that streak. I think they continue on undefeated. I'm going to take the Seahawks, too. Seahawks, man, they're they're playing on a whole different level. and I mean, that's kind of the only answer I can give to you. Cam, who do you got? You know, I'm definitely going to have to go with the Seahawks on this one. I really wanted to choose the Cardinals. I really do because I really like what they're putting down. But it's not enough against the Seahawks and how mean this defense is. How mean their defense is and how great Russell Wilson is. Cole, who do you got? Um, I'm going to go with the MVP, or as you said in the beginning of the video, if you're not going for Fitz, you have to go with Breeze, and I already went with Breeze, so I can't go with Fitz. And that's going to result in a Star Frame! $5 charity of your choice! And it's either Star Frames for the Cardinals, or Star Frames against the Cardinals. (laughs) What can you do? One or the other. And sticking with the theme of division battles, we got an AFC West battle between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Denver Broncos. Um, I think the Chiefs continue their dominance, even though the Broncos you know, did, did, did some good work. Did some good work against New England. I still think Kansas City is uh, still going to do what they do. Cold shoot you got. Chiefs, I'm just going to make it easy. Yeah. There's no point. And choosing the Broncos, unless you need to do an upset. And unless you're gambling. Fitz, who do you got? Uh, you know, I'm taking the Chiefs oh. as my lock. Uh, Denver, they played good last week, but I think that's because Cam just has flashbacks to when Denver beat him in the Super Bowl, and he's just like, this is the team. Yeah. The same colors. Oh, my God. This is the same team. True. Yeah, I support that decision. And then he gets scared because it doesn't matter if it's the Panthers, the Patriots, whoever he's starting on. If the Broncos, he gets scared, he starts playing like shit, and he looked like shit. Uh, I think he bounces back, though. I'm taking the Patriots just because the, the 49ers are beat up. They've been beat up. Garoppolo. The Chiefs. Oh, the Chiefs. My bad. I'm taking the Chiefs over the Broncos. Well, I'm taking the Patriots over the Broncos later. <laughs> but the Chiefs over the Broncos just because they're too good. Broncos just not there offensively. No Font will be back, but it's it's not going to be close. All right, Cam, what do you got? I have the Chiefs on this one as well there. Star, star frame. frame. $5 charity of your choice. Yet another star frame and a back-to-back effort, so that totals six star frames. So we we're we're about we're about at our average here. We had the streak at the start with four, and then it kind of just slowed down. Surprisingly, maybe we'll go two more. Who knows? <laughs> we just might. <laughs> we just might. Coming up next, we got the Chargers and the Jags, and something that I think us as people from the Pacific Northwest should be rooting for is not the Jaguars versus the Chargers. This is Gardner Minshew versus Justin Herbert. Yeah. This is Oregon versus Washington State. This is Pac-12 football. We, the we've, NFL, already, we've already watched this game. <laughs> yeah, and, and Gardner won. But this is not how it's going to happen in the NFL. But I can appreciate Pac-12 football. In my heart, that's the best football. It's the most fun football. And um, Justin Herbert looks like a dog, man. You know, um, 
I was wrong about him. As Armin likes to remind me on the daily basis. Shouts out to Armin. But, yeah, we're going to take the Chargers to beat the Jags. Fitz, who do you got? I'm taking the Chargers. I think Justin Herbert throws five touchdown passes. Jesus. I think two five. to I think two, <laughs> five yeah. of them. I think two to Hunter Henry, one to Keenan Allen, one to Mike Williams, and one to whoever else. Just whoever else. Your defense is not good. No. The Lions, <laughs> they beat you, and then you guys kind of made it look good. But they just, you know, they beat you, and then they stop playing, basically. So I, I think that's kind of just how this turns out. Tyrod Taylor's going to see some playing time because Herbert's going to beat you by a lot, and I don't think Minshew will keep up because he doesn't have a good supporting cast. So He has a good supporting cast. It's mm-hmm. Well, what's he missing on offense? Your offensive line. I uh, hit some mi- 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 It's hit and miss. That's, that's he got strip sacked last week because of your offensive tackle. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was the one. Minshew mostly just kind of scrambles out of the pocket when he doesn't need to. He doesn't have a lot of pocket presence. That's his problem. Cole, who do you got? I got the Chargers. The Jags just aren't looking good at all. Maybe we Sorry. Can, maybe we can get Trevor Lawrence in a Jags jersey. Cam, who do you got to close this off? I'm pretty sure I said the Chargers. Oh, well. Star frame! $5 charity of your choice. I might have not said the Chargers, I don't know. No, you never did. But no. that's all good. Oh, well. There you go. As it's, easy as you that. You know, it's about, the Jags that's, are that's, bad. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, I'm never choosing the Jags. You chose them against <laughs> Miami. You did, you did one time. <laughs> one time I regret it. And it costed you. And I regret it. Worst decision of my life. Uh, I mean, fair. <laughs> Coming up next, we got what could have been Jimmy G against Tom Brady, but it is not going to be Jimmy G against Tom Brady. It's going to be Jimmy G against Cam Newton. Larry. Yeah, might as well go to me. I already yeah, what said. You got? I'm taking the Panthers. I mean, well, <laughs> I'm all over You're the place. You're already messing up. I'm all over the place, but Cam Newton, I'm taking the Patriots. Uh, I think Bill, if anybody's going to game plan for Garoppolo and Garoppolo bounce back against the Rams, which none of us kind of expected, but I think if anybody's going to game plan for him, it'll be Belichick. Belichick will have him figured out. The run game's going to be hurt with Mostert sitting out. I'm taking the Patriots. I think Cam Newton bounces back. I think he'll have two passing TDs, one rushing TD. It's going to be close, but I'm going to say like 28 to 21. All righty. Cole, Judy, got. I got the Patriots. I mean, I... I think Cam's going to have that towel. He's going to get dubs, and he's just going to love it, man. The towel and the dubs. I'm also going to be taking the Patriots. The 49ers, man, just a shell of what they used to be. Cam? This is just a no-brainer for me. You know I'm going to choose the Patriots no matter who they line up against. And that's going to be a star frame. $5 charity of your choice. And the problem is, though, too, with all these star frames, is these games are must-win for these other teams that mm-hmm. we're star framing against. The, the Niners are 3-3. Three and three, and If they don't win this one, they're already behind <clears throat> in the division right now as we speak. So, these are tough. And tough that, is, that is eight star frames, and they both came in clumps of four. Man. So, no more for the rest of the... Yeah. For the rest of our picks. I think eight might eight might be the record and man we got we got two more games to go. And Colch, before your obviously <coughs> your fifth, I believe, live performance of the year. We did say your recording last week was probably your best. I think my first recording that I did was probably my best. <laughs> Dude, we were big fans of your second recording. We were This recording was probably the best, I think. Yeah, well, like Kelly Clarkson, I mean, she doesn't do it live. True. That, ah, we, <laughs> I do better when I don't do live. We, we test you on the spot every week. Yeah, and I always, and I, I we, never get my pipes warmed up. Me as your agent, I told them, you know, my, my client is working. So if he does not give you one this week, just go back to that last week. You know? <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to compromise. You know, it's, it is, it's just tough business. Yeah, because I got signed on a really big deal. Yeah. For Dream Dogs. Because <laughs> of as- after my performance last year. One of my biggest signings. All right. Live performance week <clears throat> seven. Sunday!
Friday night. That was pretty fucking good, dude. You gotta welcome, keep it like short it. and sweet. I like it. Welcome, welcome back, dude. That might have been your best live performance of the season. I wouldn't doubt it. Let us know in the comments what you thought about Colges. Patrick Jackson. Yeah. You know. Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you, you've watched this far. Coming up next, we have the Raiders and the Buccaneers, a Super Bowl rematch from 2002. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Fuck you. Thank, no, thank you. Oh, I, just, thank I just you. didn't think about that. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought you said, Fuck you. No. John Gruden, now coaching the Raiders, was coaching the Bucks at the time as well. So Interesting. The more you know. Cam, who do you got in this one? You know. Really want to choose the Raiders because they they look like a good solid team that could beat the that could beat the Bucks and it's just like if you get the Bucks just like a good if you rattle their offense it kind of give it, it kind of rattles Brady a little bit not gonna lie and he's kind of his age is showing not gonna lie but at the same time I'm gonna have to go with my dogs the Bucks it is a tough game and and that's kind of what I was going back and forth on. And the fact is that the Raiders have a good defense, a young offense, and if somebody knows how to rattle Tom Brady, I think it's John Gruden. And I think it's Jack Del Rio. I think that's that. I mean, he did beat the Chiefs. so yeah, That's that team, man. And that's why I'm choosing the Raiders. I think the Raiders beat Tampa Bay, and they don't do it by a lot. It's going to be another you know, hard-fought victory. Josh Jacobs does a lot for this team and does – a lot in this game as well. So the Raiders beat Tampa Bay in Week 7. Fitz, who do you got? I am taking the Bucks because uh, I just... The Raiders, their their offense is ran between Waller and Jacobs. That's what it is. Uh, Tampa Bay's run defense has been stellar. It always continues to be stellar. Uh, I think that just keeps up. You can't, can, you can't rely on... Jacobs in this type of game, you're going to need different weapons to be open. And they know that Waller's the only other option. I think so, Carr's done good as being a quarterback this year. Though. Well, he has, but last year, he, last week he hit on rugs deep for a touchdown. But that doesn't make up for all, all the other drives. It's been a lot to Waller and a lot, 30 you know, touches to Jacobs every week. I don't think you can do that against the Bucks. I think the defense is going to show out. Brady's just going to sneak by the Raiders. It's going to be close, but the Bucks get it done. All right, and Gold, who do you got in this one? I got the Bucks, man. This is the last game that I chose. I had it, uh, you know, I had a little thing right next to it. I chose it when I came into the door. Really? I think it's going to be a toit game. Honestly, I could see the Raiders pulling through. I could see the Bucks doing it by a lot, but... Just had to go with my gut. You know, I'm surprised, honestly, we got a lot of star frames this week. I think there's there's a lot of games on here that, that could potentially be really good. So now we're going to move in to the Monday night game, and we're going to... Was that a star frame? No, I picked the Raiders. Oh, so sorry. I wasn't there. And we're going to go on to Monday night. We're going to try and hit Josh up to try and get us a guitar riff. Yeah, for, for Monday sure. Night. Something that he wants to do. Mm-hmm. Give him artist freedom, you know? Yeah, freedom. Because Josh is good at what he does. He is great at what he does. Exactly. We got the Rams and the Bears. Nick Foles thrives on primetime situations. Big dick Nick. And... It's hard to bet against him. It is hard to You bet $100 against him one time. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have done that, but... <laughs> it was close, dude. He almost well, pulled it out yeah. that game, dude. I remember that game. He almost uh, pulled out all ten inches. He only pulled out five. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take the Rams in this one, though. I'm a big Jared Goff guy. I don't know why. I always have been. And I'm just going to rely on the Rams and what they have to offer. Cold shoot you got? You know, I'm a big uh, Goff guy also, but uh, Bears are looking too good. I think Big Dick Nick is just going to do it. The do Bears are unnecessarily good this year. Yeah, like for no reason. No one thought. I guess I didn't think at least. I won't say no one thought, but the I Bears didn't... were pretty good last year. Yeah. I just I didn't I didn't give them any yeah, credit for this. Yeah, but with shoddy quarterback play this year, 
I mean, if they still really good. if they still had Smoke and Jay though. Oh, dude, Smoke and Jay, call them back. <laughs> you don't call need to with Big Dick Nick. Now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you fucking Big Dick Nick. Cam, who do you got? Gonna have to go with the Bears on this one, Cotton. It's just uh, it was an easy choice for me. I don't really like the Rams, even though they got a good team. I just I don't really like it against the Bears defense. I like the Bears defense too much. I think it'll be funny if Jalen Ramsey picks Nick Foles off. That's going to give a lot of Jags fans some nostalgia. <laughs> Fitz, who do you got? Uh, I'm taking the Rams. They're just NFC West games. These teams know these wins are crucial. The Bears, they're behind the Packers. They're still kind of they're all right to lose games. The West is not okay to lose any games. So uh, I think Aaron Donald's going to get it rumbling for the Bears. He's going to get the... T- Costly turnover on Nick Foles to win this game. It's going to be close. But the Rams sneak it out. Alrighty, so to close the weekly picks, we get a split. And this is officially the quickest we've gone through a weekly picks, ladies and gentlemen. No Wyatt today, just the original four people panel. No guest host today. So that is going to do it for our NFL Week 7 picks, locks, and upsets. Fitz, any final words for the people? No. Just have a good week, man. See you next week. Cam, any last words to say? See you next week, partner. And Colch. I hope your football team wins next week, unless it's the Titans. Dude, the fans are going to be off for saying that. (laughs) If you say that every week, the fans will love you. I can't say that. I can only say that this week. (laughs) (laughs) Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching this podcast. As always, you guys can check all the links down below. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks, follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks, follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel three days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Those are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.